I'm Brooke Piazza. I'm Maddie Nunez. I'm Valerie Brash. I'm Ashley Vardoff. I'm Summer Metcalf. From Eastern Softball, and you're watching Ohio Sports Net. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, this is Autumn McCord from Keystone Softball, and you're watching Ohio Sports Net. Who got the lighter? The Sasha Meyer. You guys are there. Am I sunglasses? Oh.
through the lineup the first time they kind of have free reign they can do what they want and then if they're you know swinging at dumb things or whatever then I kind of take away their free reign but um, <laughs> but yeah I mean it she was just moving the ball around she had a lot of off-speed pitches she was hitting her spots and she was she did a great job on the mound today I think the girls, you know, I, I think they, they all knew coming in how good of a team it was. And I think they take a lot away. Even though we did lose, um, it was a great experience coming here. And knowing that um, we lost to them one nothing, um, it, it's not a win, but it, we take a lot away going into next season knowing that we have the experience, we know we can play with the big dogs, and we, we know next year that we can come here and we can do it. We can, we can be back here. I just go off of how far they're standing away from the plate, how if they're open stance, if it's wide. Um, like I said, I've played my whole life. I've grown to learn where to throw balls to keep people off balance. It was, it was a great feeling. I mean, two hits. Honestly, coming into it, I didn't think I'd hold them to that low of a number. But I'm proud of myself that I did. Um, definitely, I'm ready to come back for three more years. Again, you know, when you get to the state final four, everybody can play with anybody. So, I mean, she, the pitcher did an excellent job of, you know, making a swing at her pitch. And uh, that's something that, you know, we're going to work on and correct for the next game to go back to what we used to do and swing at our pitch. And, you know, but the excitement of the game, being here, everything, you know, you, you can't blame them. You know, it, it's one of those things, and it's a great learning experience. And we lived for another day, and uh, we have time to make those corrections. I definitely felt more comfortable today than I was in the past two years being out there. I agree. I think um, because my class has been there four years and I feel more and more confident each time. I didn't even feel a bit of nerves and I think me and everybody could agree. Definitely the uh, crowd doesn't distract me anymore. I'm able to stay focused. <laughs> okay. How important is Maddie's ability to get on base and set the table? It's, it's, it's very important. Maddie did a great job twice today to get us in those positions to be able to score. You know, just, just anybody getting on to start something starts building and the kids start building. And, and when we don't, we're, we're very comfortable one through nine in a batting order in a situation to come through. I'm just trying to be aggressive. I'm just trying to put my team in a position to win. Um, 
I want to get to second. I just want to be aggressive on the bases. Yeah, I just go. do what Coach P tells me to do. <laughs> <laughs> he wants me to go, I'm going to go. Good girl. Wait a second. So did he tell you to go and you were like, maybe I shouldn't go? or no, I she, just, she would never think that. No. <laughs> <laughs> Natty's a good kid. <laughs> No, we, we just knew that that's, I, I mean, as far as my feeling on that, that's a situation to maybe steal a run because, you know, not a lot of people would be that aggressive. So my guess was the second baseman was going to catch it, be happy she caught it, and take those two extra steps that would have bought time for us. So I just kept telling her, stay here, stay here, wait until I tell you to go, and then just go full go, and we did, and she got there and did exactly what she needed to do. Yeah, well, that wasn't exactly what I was going for. <laughs> but whatever works. So, yeah, we're just always ready when we're base running. We practice base running a lot. Everybody told me they're nothing but fighters. You know, that's everybody told me they're fighters, and we knew. I mean, we just worry about what we can do. And when the final score comes out, you know, as long as we're on top, it doesn't matter. I mean, nobody sits there. If the Indians are in the World Series and they're supposed to win, they win one nothing. Nobody sits there and go, wow, you're supposed to win 10 nothing or whatever. <laughs> no, I mean, a win's a win, and that, that's what we keep doing. We're just fighting to win. It uh, doesn't matter if it's 10-9 or one nothing, as long as we're on top. What does this say about, you know, you didn't have the greatest hitting game, but yet you pull out a win? I think it just means that as long as we get our job done, we're going to come out on top. It doesn't matter if we're winning by 10 runs, however many runs, but as long as you just do the little things. With our defense, like it's seller, so we know even if it is just one run, our defense is going to have our back. So it's really nice to know that we are so good defensively that we can only put up one and still win. Like I even bobbled that ball, but I knew Allie had my back. She was there, and she took the hit for me. <laughs> and I told her I'd have her back too. And she she threw it off to the side. I made sure I got my foot back, and she said, "I got your back. You got mine." And I think that says a lot. Huh? I didn't even really know. I was confused. <laughs> Adam, what's more satisfying, a running catch in the outfield, like a crazy play there, or what you just did there up against the backstop? Or? Definitely what I did up against the backstop. I had to give 100% to do it, and I knew we needed to get an out there because we just had an error, so they were taking the momentum. So I'm like, nope, oh, not today. Like, <laughs> got to try and leave it all out there. Did, did you get did. shook up a little bit at all? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Only hurt a little bit. I think I felt um, like the same I would feel if we were up by 10. So um, I always try to have that mindset that even if we're up by a lot, I'm going to pitch my best every pitch. And then um, even like those tight games, I still think every pitch matters and make a mistake, defense is going to have my back. And if they happen to score a run, we're going to score more. Yeah. Oh, I wish I had some problems. Oh, God. Oh, yeah. No. That's easier. No. It's not that bad. It's not a lot. Right? And, like... What up? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah.